So I decided to go with fun buns. Cause I love fun buns. I think they're fun. My husband is not a fun bun fan. I don't know if you've ever seen Dodgeball, but the girl Helga, I think her name, she wears her hair like this and she's got the unibrow. He says I look like her. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video for you today because I'm finally going to share with you my all-time beauty favorites. My skincare favorites, my makeup favorites. I was planning on filming my favorite July products. I haven't even shared with you my favorite products that I didn't just try in July, just all around. And I want you to know more about me, so I wanted to share what I got going on that I love. All of these products that I'm going to discuss today, I 100% recommend for you. Grab some popcorn, grab some wine, grab a snack, grab water, grab rum, grab whatever, because this is gonna be a little bit of a long one, and you're probably gonna want a little munchy munch in between. <laughs> and let's get on to the video. The first products I'm going to share with you today that are my favorites, I'm going to start off with my skincare products. I have horribly dry skin. There is no combination. There is no possibly a little bit of oil to my skin. It is 100% dry as dry as dry could get. I started to break out with pimples pretty bad and out of nowhere and I am a picker I can't stand it if I, I gotta get it I gotta get it and I know it's so bad but for me I scar very easily so it was start starting to scar up my face and cause my face to have some discoloration and it was really bothering me and I came across the glam glow super cleanse this this one right here is the one that I first started with and let me tell you what it made a huge difference just within a week on my skin my skin looked just it looked more smooth the scarring was starting to clear up the redness was starting to clear up uh, I, I just I, I could not believe the improvement in my skin from what it was prior to using this product and then after starting to use this product it comes in this cute little packaging like comes in this cute little tube and I don't have the paper anymore but when you pull the actual face wash out it's wrapped in this paper that has says hello sexy on it and it just gives you a little information about the product so it's a it's a super cleanse the back says it's a revolutionary mud to foam daily cleanser that changes color and transforms from mud to a gentle and effective foaming lather to, to dissolve oil and makeup rinsing away pre-clogged debris impurities excess oil yada 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 you get the picture but what really drew me to this was the fact that it has a nice little squeezy tube right here but it is actually mud like I'm squeeze squeeze some on the back of my hand let's squeeze a little bit more right there so you can see it's mud and I love a mud mask and their mud masks are amazing so that's really what drew me to this was the fact that it was mud and I got really excited because I thought well I love their mud masks now I get to use it as a facial cleanser twice a day. I mean, come on. You actually can start by dampening your face and then you just rub this product on your face and see it moves around like this. Oh, it's just so cool. And start to use it as a mask and then you can get your hands wet with the excess product that you have on your hands and then start lathering your face up and just really, really, really working into your skin. Oh. It smells good too. I decided to pick up the Glam Glow Thirst Cleanse. It's a daily hydrating cleanser, but this product smells so good. Oh my God. It just smells so good. This cleanser just reads on the back the same as the other one. It transforms from a mud, from a mud, from a mud to foam. The mud in this one is a little different. It is actually a tan color. And you can do the same thing with this. Just get your face damp and then just start working it on your skin. And then once you get it all worked in, like a mask, there is a mask that matches both of these cleansers. Um, you can get the excess product wet and then start really foaming it up. This product, oh my, this smells like vacation. It just smells like, like you're in tropical paradise. It smells so good. Both of these products I highly recommend for cleansing. I alternate between the two of them. I will use one one week and I will use the other the next week. Next, I wanna move on to some masks. Um, I'm actually gonna talk about one mask right now, but this is something new that just came out from L'Oreal. It is their Pure Clay Mask. And I saw this in stores. They have two other ones. There's a reddish color one and a green mask as well. 
but I love a mud mask and I picked this up and it, it comes in a packaging like this and it just says on the back it says over time harsh environmental factors such as pollution and debris damages skin leaving complexion dull and tired oftentimes a cleanser isn't enough to solve this problem detox and brighten pure clay mask addresses your skin concerns for a purified even and radiant complexion so you can apply this, this is what it looks like i've already used it a few times you can just use your finger and rub this all over your face, leave it on for 10 minutes, let it dry and really sink into the skin, and then just rinse it off with some warm water. I like the way my face feels afterwards. It just feels very wonderful and clean. And This is also a very affordable mud mask. It is drugstore. I will link the cost of it in the description box down below where I link all my products that are used. I'm then going to be talking about moisturizers. My favorite, all-time favorite moisturizer that I cannot live without. It is the Clinique Moisture Surge. And actually this is a brand new bottle. <laughs> she did just get me some more, so I love you mom, thanks. And this stuff is amazing. It is very lightweight. And I tell you, I put it, it just rubs in. It just feels like silk. It just feels like silk on your skin. And I put it on my face at night and the next morning I wake up and when I touch my face, it just feels like a, it just feels like a baby's ass. I mean, I'm dead serious. My cheeks have not felt that soft since I probably was a child. It is so amazing. It is a little pricey since it came from Clinique, but I do highly, highly recommend this for all skin types, especially dry skin girls. You will not go wrong. I, I have to have this. Don't fret if you cannot afford something like this. Neutrogena Hydro, hydro Douche. Okay, let's try this one more time. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Water gel, instantly I thought, this is gonna feel great on my face. I will, I definitely say this could potentially be a drugstore dupe for the Clinique Moisture Surge. Now it's not exactly like it, but it will get the job done. It will give that lightweight feeling of moisture on your face and it will really sink in and just really help hydrate your skin. I really do like this stuff. I use this when I run low, when I start to run low on the moisture surge and when I'm out and I can't get to a Clinique, I will be, I will use this. Um, you can see it's already halfway empty. It's just a nice blue color. It once again just feels like silk going on your skin. It's very nice. This is drugstore, so it's going to be highly affordable for you and your skincare moisture needs. Something new that I picked up at Walmart, I was walking through the makeup section, I saw the Milani section because I love their makeup, and I found this Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. Lord Jesus. First off, it smells like a freaking sugar cookie, and I'm a cookie monster, and it is a sugar scrub for your lips. It just, oh, I use this every other night on my lips, so you just, I just push my lips out like this and I just rub, 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 rub. This sugar scrub just really helps get all the dead, nasty, dry shit off my lips. I love it. It is drugstore. I recommend this for anybody who, even if you don't have dry lips, just to take care of your lips and just to get all that junk off. This is wonderful. I'm now going to move on to primers. Um, two of my favorite drugstore primers, they both come from the Milani collection. One is the Milani Prime Perfection Primer. This is a hydrating primer. It goes very great for people who have dry skin like me. And another one is the Milani Prime Correct Primer. It's in green tone, so if you have a lot of like red discoloration on your face, this primer is gonna really, really help with that. So I really like both, both of these primers. They work wonderful and they're drugstore. Next is a new primer that I just recently picked up for me. It's by Too Faced. It is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. It is made with coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and skin revivers. It is silicone free and it says we love your skin even when you don't. I love this primer. I got this a few days ago and I'm obsessed. It smells like coconut. It comes in a little pump tube and you just pump it right on the back of your hand. And it is just this nice white primer that you can just start blending in everywhere, sinking into your pores. And it smells like coconuts. It smells like freaking coconuts. Who doesn't want coconuts on their face? Oh, I love it. Next, I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I have tried so many different eyebrow, eyebrow, eyebrow products. And the one that I come to find that I love the most is by e.l.f. It is in the darkest shade. It is what I have on my eyes right now. And this is what I use every single day. 
It comes with a pomade and a powder, and I always use the pomade. I barely ever use the powder, but this stuff is great. It's e.l.f., it's a drugstore, and very affordable. This is a new favorite for me, and I am so incredibly excited to talk about it. I just, my most recent video that I did was on this product. It is the Tarte Rainforest by the Sea Radiant Drops. Amazing for a dry skin girl who wants to look luminesque and radiant and dewy and just beautiful and look like they have that glow from within. These drops are your ticket, even if you're not a dry skin girl. I just say dry skin girl because I am a dry skin girl, but dry skin combination, oily skin, this stuff is a ticket. It's amazing. It's got this nice little squeezy tube in it and the color of these things, it's just like a pearl color. I just squirt a couple pumps on my face when I'm doing my foundation. I just blend it all in with a damp beauty blender and my skin just looks very radiant, luminous. And I absolutely love it. I'm actually have it on today next I'm going to move on to foundations my all-time favorite foundation my holy grail of foundations my go-to What I'm going to reach for on the daily is the urban decay all-nighter foundation This is a 100% full coverage foundation. It is a mattifying foundation and this is not going anywhere It's a waterproof long-lasting liquid foundation when they say waterproof they mean waterproof. I actually was wearing this when I was on the boat one day, took a couple face dives in the water wakeboarding, and when I got out of the boat, my foundation was still intact, and it was this guy right here. I have never been able to look at another foundation the same since. <laughs> so this is my favorite. I'm in shade 4.0. I do have two alternatives that I do reach for. One of these products I have ranted and raved about for a while, and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is a very, very, very nice foundation. You can build this up and make it extremely full coverage or you can just do one layer and make it medium to full coverage. This is long lasting. This is $5. Um, it has a little stick applicator so that's pretty nice and you can just put little dots all over your face and then blend it out however you prefer with a with a beauty blender or a brush i prefer a beauty blender but this is a great product as well and drugstore. I have another favorite drugstore foundation and this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. It is a two-in-one foundation and concealer. I'm in the shade light beige. This stuff smells sweet when you put it on your face. It's actually a very, very nice smell. This is a medium to full coverage foundation, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wear, water resistant, and sweat proof. I find that the Wet n Wild foundation that I just spoke of lasts a little bit longer than this foundation right here. However, this foundation does last long and it does look great on the skin and it is buildable to a full coverage foundation. You can take the top off and I love it because it's a nice little pump tube and you just squeeze it right on the back of your hand and it just makes everything so simple when things come in little pump tubes. I love that. Now I'm going to talk about concealers. Of course, my holy grail, my most favorite concealer, the one that I rant and rave about that I could never live without is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I feel like that is anybody who's tried it. It has changed their world for the better. I am in the shade Light Neutral. I love it. It smells like a meadow on your face. It just smells so good. It is $22. However, a little bit of this product goes a long way. So you are getting a bang for your buck. It smells great. It looks great. It, it doesn't crease. It sets in. It just looks flawless on your skin. This is my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite concealer. Now, an alternative for this. Now, I, I can't say that it is a dupe at all because there is never going to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't think. But a great drugstore concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This stuff is really, really great. It's highly affordable. I don't have any creasing problems with this. Plop it on your eyes. You don't have to worry about using your fingers or using the squeezy tube. I like these little sticks. I switch back and forth between the two. One day I'll do shape tape, one day I'll do this because I just don't want one of them to run out so quickly because I love them both, so I give them both equal amounts of love. Now I'm going to be talking about setting powders. One of my favorite setting powders is, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I, I have the uh, smaller size because, you know, the big size is uh, not cheap and the small size is affordable. And the small size, y'all, get the small size. Don't get that big size. The small size goes a long way. I've had this thing for like six months now and I don't even think halfway empty. So this is a great under eye setting powder. My next favorite is the Kat Von D Secret Brightening Powder in shade Golden. They both work great separately, but together they are but together they are a great team. They both look nice and give you that airbrushed flawless look, but together it gives you an even more airbrushed flawless look. So I like to use both of these products to set under my eye. A new product that I just came about like three weeks ago is the Wet n Wild Color Con Bronzer. This is in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. It really helps give you a just perfect little glow right on your face and it sets everything in nice and I don't have problems with creasing. 
it is drugstore like I said it does say bronzer on it but I just use it to set under my eyes because it is so light and it is just so stunning and I use this a lot then I'm going to talk about my face powders and if you watch my videos you know that my most favorite is of face powders it's a drugstore loose powder and it is by flower beauty and it is in the shade l01 it comes with a little sifter inside so I really like that helps it not get so messy but I just go ham with this when I use it so I'm like whoa, 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 powder everywhere not really <laughs> don't go that crazy but that is a great 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 powder I use that practically every single day and it's drugstore and it's affordable and it looks great on your skin my next favorite powder is the Tarte Amazonian clay powder and this is in the shade light sand this I also love because it has a little sifter inside so you just shake it up put your powder on there set your face in this sits wonderfully on this skin and once again just adds to that flawless airbrush look that we all want to try to achieve you know so I really really high, highly recommend this so a high-end product and a drugstore product both of them I love this one I use more than this one because I love this one so much I love this one too but this is my favorite I mean this is one you guys see me using on my videos let's get serious so but these are two great powders that I adore my favorite bronzer is the Benefits Hula Bronzer, and it is just, so, first off, just so cute because it's got little, like, bamboos around it and flowers, but this is a perfect, perfect, oh, hell, it's got a little mirror in there. I've been so excited using this for so long, I didn't even notice there was a mirror in there. This is a great bronzer. You can actually use this to bronze or contour your face with. It's very easy to smooth out. It looks great on your skin. It, however, a great, a great, a great... Drugstore bronzer is the Wet n Wild Color Con bronzer. This is in the shade Ticket to Brazil. I use this for first impressions on a full face Wet n Wild video that I did and I fell in love with this. To be quite honest, it actually reminds me of a uh, Benefits Hula bronzer. So, just saying. And it's uh, cheap and great quality. So, I highly recommend this. I love it and I actually alternate back and forth between these two because I want to equally show them love because I love them both the same and I don't want one to run out before the other. So, one day there's Benefit Tula and one day there is Ticket to Brazil. So, love these bronzers. Yes, yes, yes. And I love to contour. The contour palette that I reach for on the daily and you can tell because it is the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette but it is literally like shading out because uh, I use it so much and the inside is a disaster I hit pan on the middle highlight and that middle one is broken but I still use it I hit pan on this one right here ah! I'm spilling it everywhere but you get the gist poof it just went everywhere this is my favorite contouring palette so I use this all the time like all the time I use that darkest shade in there to contour however however on my next favorites is the Koki Powder Contour Palette. Um, does it resemble what I just showed you? I mean, if what I just showed you wasn't all broken. Okay, I think this is a dupe for that. Actually, I don't think I know it is. These are really, really great. I picked this up when I did the first impressions on it, and I was like, what? What? Kat Von D Shade Light Palette? What? This is a, this is a duplicate. This is a duplicate. I don't have to spend an arm and a leg for it. I really do like this and I would like to say that it is a dupe for the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and it is affordable and it is drugstore so this is one of my favorites as well because as much as I love my high-end products I do love stuff that I can afford too. My favorite blushes to use are the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. Um, I just love them and my most favorite one is this one right here and I use it in almost every one of my videos. It's called I have it on today and I normally wear this every day. I absolutely love it. It's very nice, very soft on the skin, blends out wonderfully. So I highly recommend the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. They're just great, but that's my favorite color. Another one of my favorite, favorite, favorite brushes, brushes, why do I always want to say that? Blushes are the NYX Ombre Blush. This is in the shade Nude to Me. Y'all, these blushes are amazing and unbelievably pigmented you only have to touch your br your brush in this one time if you go two times you it's gonna be too much one time does both cheeks justice I mean look at this so you can go with one shade right here you can go with this shade right here or you can mix the two together which is what I like to do and you get a gorgeous like 
bronzy golden shade. This is the middle one. I mean, look how pigmented that is. It is so wonderful. I love that it's such a nice, creamy, buttery blush that is just unbelievably pigmented and it is once again drugstore and I just can't even believe it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Y'all, we're almost done, I'm sorry. You should probably get some popcorn because damn. All right, let's move on to mascara. So I have two favorite mascaras, two. Two, two, two. One is the Maybelline Colossal Volumizing Express Mascara. As you can see, I use this baby all the time because you can barely see the writing. This is just a wonderful waterproof mascara. She ain't going anywhere. If you get your face wet and the water out on the beach and the pool, whatever it is, she's staying right there. So I love, love, love this mascara, especially in the summer. My favorite mascara now that has become my favorite mascara of all mascaras, the only problem is it is not waterproof. However, I did find out that this is, they do make this waterproof now. It is by Lancome, it is the Grandiose Extreme Mascara. This mascara makes you look like you have false lashes on. You don't have to apply 50,000 coats to get the effect. Uh, for girls who do not like to wear false lashes, who feel they are heavy on their eyes, I used to be one of those girls, I finally got used to it. But some days I don't feel like messing with false lashes. I go with this. I don't have to apply so many coats like you do with a lot of other mascaras just to get that look. And it just, it's wonderful. It makes my lashes look long, look full, it's great. For highlighters, now we are almost done. We are almost done. This girl has been with me for a hot minute. This is Becca's highlighter in the shade Moonstone. Um, I broke her, I don't know how, a year ago. Bits and pieces of her still remain and she is still so faithful to me and so wonderful. I was using this highlighter for the longest time. This was actually the very first high-end highlighter that I ever purchased and I purchased this highlighter probably, I don't, it's got to be two years ago now. And she's still here with me, even broken, and I still use her. And this was like, oh, I couldn't believe I just spent that much money on that kind of highlighter. You know, I just, oh, but God, she's still here. And she's still with me. Still rocking it. Still product. I mean, that's how wonderful. When things are of great quality, they're going to last so much longer than things without good quality. When they're pigmented, they're going to last longer. So it, it actually ends up being worth your money. This one in the shade Sun Glow by Milani. This is absolutely wonderful. Once again, drugstore. It is a golden highlighter. This stuff is gorgeous. Once I picked this up, because I boycotted highlighters after using the Becca highlighter for so long, I just fell so much in love with it that I just came consumed with that highlighter and didn't want to give any others a chance. But I decided I need to because I can't just be stuck in one area for the rest of my life. You gotta branch out. So I found Sun Glow at my local drugstore and Oh my God. Oh my God. I stopped using Becca for a very long time and started going to Sun Glow right here. Let's take a look. This is a very nice golden highlighter. It's just gorgeous on the skin. I favorite, 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 favorite. Oh my God. Gorgeous. I mean, this and this is the Anastasia Glow Kit. This is the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. There are no words. There are no words. It comes with four shades. There's bronzed, and then summer is right here, and then moonstone, and this is tourmaline, tourmaline, tourmaline. Probably butchering it. It's gorgeous. I'm just gonna call it gorgeous. These are incredibly pigmented. I have moonstone on my face, on my nose, on my cupid's bow. Anywhere I can highlight, I put highlighter, and these are stunning. This is bronzed right here. It is oh gorgeous. Here's summer. A lighter, just beautiful, beautiful. Tourmaline, tourmaline, whatever you want to call it. Right here. Look at that. Look at that blinding like a freaking disco ball. And then moonstone right here. I mean, look at these highlighters. All four of them, their own personality and just all of them can't move these fingers and all of them just completely blinding and beautiful once again another gift from my mommy thank you mom <laughs> now we're gonna discuss lippies I promise I promise we're almost done my favorite lip liquid lipsticks right now are the Stila stay all day liquid lipsticks I have about six of them um, but I'm only gonna grab two but I have this one right here is in the shade patina and this one is in the shade Baca, Baca. These are not going anywhere. I love, this is Baca. 
love them. Um, they're not extremely drying on your lips. They are mattifying. This one is patina. How about that ugly ass swatch? Anyways, the point is you get to see the color. These aren't going anywhere. They last all day. I absolutely love them. Next, I'm really liking the Buxom Wildly Whipped Lip Glosses. It's a liquid lipstick. It's a soft matte lip color. This is in the shade Lover, but this is not a, like, drying liquid lipstick. It stays very hydrated on the lips. It's not as long lasting as some liquid lipsticks, but she stay on there. This is just a very beautiful color. I love it because it is a liquid lipstick. I love it because it is hydrating. Right now, this is my holy grail of lipsticks. These are the Tarte Color Splash lipsticks. This one is in the shade Beach Babe, and it's just a really nice nude color. It has a little bit of pink undertones. These things are so hydrating. Ugh, I mean, look at the packaging first off. It's blue ocean marble. I love this, very hydrating on the lips, very long lasting. Just, ugh, let me just, it's just a very, very, very gorgeous nude pink, nudie pink lipstick and this is heaven for me right now. I am just absolutely loving it. I always love a Radiant Glow, so I did pick this up a while ago. It's the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray. I love this. It is so fine. It's just such a nice fine spray. It has a nice scent to it. It's very light. I sometimes spray this on my face, but a lot of times I will use this and I will spray it on the back of my beauty blender. I will just push that beauty blender with that product over top of my highlight, just sinking the highlight into my face and making it look more dewy, more luminesque, and not like a powder highlight, just like it's really glowing from within my skin. That's what I love to use this product for. It works amazing. For eyeshadows, my one of my favorite palettes is the Tardius Pro Palette. So you can do one whole look with each one of these lines. You can do a look with this line right here, with this line, this line, this line. You can mix it up a bit. There's matte colors. There's these beautiful shimmer colors right here. This palette has it all. When I'm traveling, I normally take this palette with me because the pigmentation on this palette is amazing. There are so many options. Your creativity with this is endless. So I, I really, really love this palette. I've had it for a while now and I just am obsessed with it. Some other eyeshadows that I have just recently come to love are the ColourPop eyeshadows. Now this is not a palette that they made themselves. You can actually go on their site, pick your own palette, make it. Um, these are the shades that I picked out. They are all want very, very, very pigmented. Um, this right here is my favorite shade for a while now. This is called Tangerine. I mean, look at that. And this is, this is called Cannonball. It's a nice like burnt orange shade. This is Hear Me Out. It's a very nice transition shade, and this is Beach Blanket. They are all very pigmented. They all blend wonderfully together, and I think each one of these shadows was $4, and you get the case for free. Next is my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. This is just the most fun palette that I own. I just love it. Look at these colors. These are all beautiful shimmer shades and one little matte shade right here called Myth. It comes with this little highlighter in the middle. All of these shades are wonderful. All of these shades blend out beautifully. All of these shades are pigmented. This is just such a great palette. It just gives me unicorn vibes. It gives me happy vibes. It just makes me, it, I open it and I smile just because of the brightness that it holds. I mean, how could you not smile looking at this? I love this palette. Next is a newbie for me, the Tarte Clay Play Palette. I, you can do your whole face with this palette. Your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, your contour, your bronzing. It comes with all these shades right here that you can use to bronze and contour. You don't even have to use these shades for bronzer and contouring. You can use them on your eyeshadows. It comes with so much. You can do a smoky eye. You can do a, a light neutral eye. You can do a light smoky eye. You can just, you can just do nothing with your eyes and just do your eyebrows and do some bronzer and contouring. Whatever this does it, you can highlight under your eyes with these colors right here. And I mean, you can do so, so much with this palette. One palette, your eyebrows, your eyeshadows, your contouring, your bronzing. You 
can do it. This is a one-stop palette. You don't have to worry about taking any other eyeshadow palettes, any other bronzers, any other contouring palettes with you. This one will do it. I just recently filmed a video with this, so that'll be the next video that I have up. So be prepared to watch this if you're unsure about it. You want to see how it works, how it looks like on your face, all the fun things you can do with this palette I, I have done in that video, and it will be up shortly for your viewing. This girl right here. She great. Another company that I love eyeshadows from that I think are so, so, so incredibly pigmented are the Buxom Cosmetics. Um, oh, look at this, look at this. This is a palette that I picked out myself. I created myself. Um, these shadows are just so, once again, incredibly, incredibly, let's go right here, pigmented shadows that blend out. I love this one right here because look, it looks teal right when you touch it. But when you swatch it, look at those mermaid vibes it goes from copper to teal just by moving the shade changes it's it's so gorgeous the great thing about this is is you can pick your own shades you can pick six shades you get a really durable compact to hold them in it's wonderful i have made two of these but they're just wonderful i highly recommend trying that brand if you have not already they're just great you can get something smoky you can get something bold you can get something neutral something everyday something simple with that with that brand with that product and they are just flawless on the eyes. This is the Clinique Turnaround Revitalizing Lotion. This is a wonderful product that I like to put on my face in the morning because it just makes me feel awake. This just really helps your face feel awakened and alive and just helps helps you want to start the day. Helps you not feel like a zombie. But this just feels so great on the skin so I like to put a little bit of this. Oh shit. A little bit of this product goes a long way. It's very light. I just do a little a couple of dabs and just rub it on your fingertips. Oh, it just feels so, so nice. And then I just work it into my skin, just around my eye, working it all over my face, getting it refreshed and awakened. I let that sit in for a little bit and then I go in with my moisturizers and tackle the rest of the day with all those products. So that was it, you guys. I'm sure I talked your ear off. I hope you went and got some sort of a snack and maybe a glass of wine or a glass of water if you're not a wino. Maybe some rum, that's what I would've got. I would've got some rum. <laughs> But I just wanted to share with you my favorite products, high-end and drugstore, things that are worth your buck to get that's going to last you a long time, and things that are worth your buck at the drugstore that you definitely should try out. So I hope this video helped. I hope if you have not tried any of these things and you have thought about trying them or wanted to try them but were just unsure and didn't want to spend the money, I hope maybe this gave you some insight on any of those products you may have been interested in. But I love all of these products. I highly recommend them to any person out there. So that is all I have to say for today, guys. I think I can stop rambling now and let you get back on to your lives. If you like this video guys, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And that is all for now. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.